up YouTube back with another video and today I am here to talk a little bit about um, my new project that I have going on since we're all quarantined at home this was a project that I've been uh, thinking about doing for a few years now but I uh, just haven't had the time to really get into it and so now that we all have time on our hands um, I was able to put this together and so what I did was I started my own backyard garden and this is an above ground garden I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on it just going to talk a little bit about it I should have started from scratch I should have started like a series of videos with me going to Home Depot to get the supplies to get the soil um, putting it all together um, mixing the soils and things of that nature but I just didn't think about it at the time um, my main concern was just you know getting it started and getting it going and so that's pretty much what I did and so um, so yeah I'm just gonna let you guys take a look at it real quick this is my above ground um, backyard garden that I have and uh, it's pretty sweet so far this has actually only been day I think today I'm on day six either day five or day six and so you can already pretty much tell um, I've had a lot of growth in a short period of time um, I'm going to actually show the structure a little bit more and I'll talk a little bit about the supplies and what you may need to do if you want to start your own um, you don't have to spend a whole lot of money as some people think and it's actually a little so actually uh, simpler than, than most people think um, when creating your own um, above ground garden so the first thing you want to do is if you if you're actually interested in in doing this at home is first deciding on what you're going to grow and what what this whole garden is going to be about meaning are you growing vegetables are you are you just trying to grow flowers or plants or w what exactly is it that you're trying to grow me I actually um, am growing uh, seven vegetables in this garden I'm not sure how this is actually going to look on um, on camera um, but it looks it's actually a lot bigger than probably what it looks on camera uh, and so I have uh, seven different things growing in here I have tomatoes I have cucumbers squash kale um, peppers carrots and it's something else that I can't think of at the moment but that's what I personally have in there growing at this at this point in time and everything is shooting up a lot quicker than expected um, when you look at the actual um, instructions of the seeds on the back most of these weren't even supposed to start showing up until seven to ten days and I started seeing sprouts around the third day but I think it's really because I'm in Orlando and the weather here is prime conditions right now for a lot of this to grow so you're gonna see um, the uh, from the rain and from the the warmth outside that this is prime conditions for all of this stuff to grow so um yeah that's what I pretty much started right now so let's talk a little bit about I'm gonna get up for a minute cuz I just noticed something that's kind of interesting to me um, with these plants uh, of course you start seeing ants and stuff in here but I noticed that uh, I have a leaf right here that's chewed off and I'm wondering if the ants are already getting to it this early in the game. So anyway, to start off a little bit about what you see here. So basically with the supplies, now you can go on Amazon and buy any of the already homemade, I guess, garden bed kits that are already structured to be um, or designed like what I have. And I can tell you this, just from my research, you're going to pay anywhere from... I would say uh, 30 to 50 percent more than building one yourself because um, I actually was going to do that but for something that was already pre-built for this height and length I probably would have paid um, definitely double of what I paid to make this myself so I got all the supplies from Home Depot that included the wooden boards these boards right here are two by four by sixes and I have one two three four five six seven eight of those I think these were like four dollars a piece so that brings it to what um, $32 and these corner units right here that hold the particular boards these were like 350 I think each or three dollars each 
I would just say four dollars and again that's two on each side so two four six eight eight times four is thirty two dollars so basically sixty dollars for basically what you see here that's not including the soil um, the soil was probably another sixty dollars just to fill this up by itself um, so if you go to any Home Depot or any Lowe's store I'm not sure exactly what these concrete blocks are called right here but these are what you need for your end pieces to actually put the, the boards in place um, and again, I think these were between three and 350 each. And you notice I have two of them um, stacked on top of each other. So um, you got two on each corner. There's four corners, so that's gonna be a total of eight. And then the boards are uh, two by four by sixes. And um, I have eight of these as well. These I think were $4 each. These are non-treated. And if you do decide to go with these, get the ones that are non-treated because the treated ones the ones that are treated with um, with the uh, uh, coating or finishing so that it'll last longer, withstand rain and and all of that, uh, have a lot of chemicals that you do not want to be associated with your garden. So go with the plain wood ones or the cedar ones. The cedar wood was a lot more expensive than these, um, but these will do just fine because if they do warp or start to rot or whatever, I can just replace them easily with no problem. Now. Um, another thing you need to do before you start putting your soil down is getting a, um, I have the actual garden uh, film, what do you call this? Uh, I can't even think of the name of it. It's like the garden tarp or whatever. And if you look real close, it's breathable and has tiny little miniature holes in all of this. This is what you put on the bottom of the uh, garden bed and that way it'll help water um, go through the actual bottom of the of the bed and you want that you don't want the water to just sit at the bottom of the actual garden now when it comes to the soil um i actually had to get three different types of soil uh one of the soils that i got it was the um organic gardening soil i forgot the name brand of it and i used all the bags so i don't have an extra one around but i want to say it was by um I can't think of the name of it, but it's organic gardening soil. And um, I think it was $8 a bag, but it was highly recommended um, at the store at uh, Home Depot. And then I got the peat moss. You want to get a good large bag of peat moss, and then you want to get a, you know, a couple bags. So I think I got about eight bags actually of, I got Scott's topsoil, lawn and garden uh, topsoil. And even though I wish I would have showed you guys this from the beginning, but what you need to do is um, when you when this is empty and you first create this bed, you're going to want to put your um, organic gardening soil in first and then mix it with your peat moss. And if you notice over here, um, the bag of peat moss that I have, uh, I only used half of it for this entire garden bed. So I still have half of it left. So I would say about half a bag of the peat moss mixed in with the organic um, garden and soil and just put enough in there to pretty much fill it up as much as possible. And then you're gonna take the bags of the Scotch topsoil or any topsoil to fill it on top. Um, this was the topsoil that I went with. Yeah. Pull this up real quick. Um, this is Scotch premium topsoil. Uh, as organic matter, peat moss to existing soil. Okay, all right. And this is the actual peat moss. I think it comes from. Uh, hmm. I think I want to say it came from Canada somewhere. I'm not sure. I want to say that's where I saw it on the bag somewhere. But the Lambert peat moss I got from Home Depot as well. I think that big bag was only like 10, 12 bucks. Those topsoil bags were only like $2.50 and the organic soil that I used um, was like $8 a bag so that was kind of expensive but again it pretty much fills the majority of the, uh, the garden bed. And so yeah, in three days I already started seeing some sprouts come up um, and then uh, a couple days later I started seeing these pop up and then every day it's been new sprouts 
um, popping up left and right. So uh, it's kind of exciting just to wake up every morning and see exactly what new has popped up or what's happening in the garden. And um, yeah, I know it's not a big garden. I know it's not going to, you know, feed uh, you know, a family of four or whatever the case may be. But just the fact that, you know, I actually have a garden to come out here and, you know, pick some, uh, some vegetables from time to time and, you know, to be able to clean and know that I use them and I grew them, I think is pretty cool within itself. So, hey, if you're bored, don't have nothing else to do, you want to start a garden, I think it's a pretty cool idea. You never know. It's uh, definitely interesting times that we're living in right now. So this could be a time where we all may be living off the land before long. So it may be something that you want to get, get in the habit of doing. I know kids are at home. School is out right now, so it's, it'll be cool to get them into gardening and get them excited about planting uh, vegetables and um, and watching things grow and things of that nature. I think it's uh, you know exciting for them as well. So it's something that you could do with the kids. Um, but yeah, and it's a really inexpensive project. Again, for all of this together with the seeds, soil, peat moss, the boards, the concrete end unit the end um connecting units i think i paid what 150 you know 150 bucks you know for something that is going to last a long time and that i can eat from and um you know grow different types of uh vegetables i think is really cool so yeah if you guys are interested in it um i tried looking up some of these things on the home depot website and i don't see them listed on there but if you go to the gardening section, um, you can find those two bags that I just showed you. Um, and then just ask for organic gardening soil. They'll show you, they'll take you to those bags. The uh, concrete blocks are in the garden section as well, the corner units, um, you'll find those there. Now the wood, the lumber is gonna be in the lumber section. And there should be a section in there that has, or you can just ask a representative, hey, um, I need, uh, eight two by four by sixes. I need eight of those boards and they can show you where they are with no problem. Now, if you want longer boards, you can do that and have a longer garden, even a bigger garden than this. But I just didn't want it, you know, I have a small patio space, so I don't want to get it, you know, I don't want to take up to the whole point where I can't even walk on the patio. So this was big enough for me in my living space as of now. My goal is to one day is, you know, when I buy another house to have my entire backyard one big huge garden and so i think this will kind of help me prepare for that uh when that day comes and so yeah man i'll keep you guys posted on it give you guys updates on the garden while at home um hoping no one i mean hoping no birds or too many ants or lizards come in and eat you know the stuff that i'm getting ready to grow but uh but i'll keep an eye on that as well so other than that, uh, I'll check you guys out on the next video. Hope you guys are being safe. I wish you well. Peace.